I'm Oliver Hughes, CEO of Tinkoff Group. Within the group we have a bank, we have a virtual, virtual mobile operator, we have an insurance company and several other companies including uh, now nine Tinkoff regional development hubs. So there's quite a lot going on. Tinkoff is actually quite large now, uh, so we have seven million customers and you can find out lots about us because we're listed on the London Stock Exchange, uh, so the, there's all sorts of information out about there. But because we're in Russia, maybe we haven't had that that much exposure is something to check out because we're doing quite a lot of in innovative stuff. I like what I'm hearing. Uh, obviously, it's only we're only three or four hours into the into the conference, into the event. Uh, but I like what I'm hearing, as opposed to what was being spoken about a few years ago, which was lots of hype about fintech revolution taking over the world, killing all the banks, and all that kind of stuff. It seems to be a lot more sober now. It's about how the incumbent banks are responding. I personally think if they're only just starting to respond then they're toast anyway, they just don't get it yet. Um, but it's more about big tech and that's where the real um, threat, if you like, or opportunity is going to come where if banks haven't got the, developed the interface, the scale, the use of data, then they're not going to be able to compete with your Amazons and your uh, Alipays and your, your Tencents when they actually come into the markets in which these banks are operating. And that seems to be coming out as a trend already in the first few presentations that I've seen. And that very much chimes with our view. So because we're a, we're a digital bank and more, as I explained uh, from day one, we understand a lot of these um, issues because we already in Russia compete with the local big tech. So you may know Yandex and Mail.ru, um, Sparebank, which is also building a financial ecosystem. And it's the battle of the ecosystems which is happening between the financial service providers, the online players, maybe the mobile operators at some point. Um, and it's being played, played out in Russia, it's been played out in China, it's been played out in India. And I think these are the things which are actually coming to the developed markets, maybe they just haven't experienced it yet. So we're not showcasing a particular product. If you like, we're showcasing our platform. So I'm talking on the, uh, one of the panels, which is about banking as a service. So Tinkoff is a hybrid platform. Uh, the platform consists of basically four blocks. So we have um, our digital originational platform. So we can find a customer, a potential customer, um, and bring them onto our platform anywhere in Russia next day, literally. Um, we're currently doing 20,000 meetings through our smart courier platform, which is our fulfillment piece, every single day. So we're doing around 400,000 new account openings each month. So it's a, a very high volume business. And uh, the um, next component is the fact that we have our servicing platform. So that's the mobile apps, uh, obviously the web interfaces, chat, um, and other interesting things that we're working on at the moment, and the call center. Um, so we're talking about our hybrid model where we're selling our own proprietary products, our own balance sheet products, if you like, but also partner products. So we sell mortgage products uh, from our partners, uh, we sell investment products, we sell insurance products, and now increasingly non-financial products and services like travel, um, entertainment services, and more and more digital content through the app to drive daily active usage. So we're talking about ourselves, basically, that's our product. So it's how we scale up, how we scale up profitably, how we attract the right talent. Fortunately, we're in Russia, which has got the best programmers in the world. The developers are in Russia. So that makes life a lot easier, but there's a lot of competition for these developers. Um, the developers are, are, are highly sought after amongst the different players in Russia, and there's a very vibrant online scene. Um, but also we're competing against Silicon Valley and the dollar, and uh, there's a lot of people going abroad to work. So it's about attracting talent, it's about um, scaling up big time, how we attract customers, how we then um, work with those customers, provide the services that they want in one place, how we utilize their data to cross sell other products to monetize those customers over time, um, and then how um, over the next three to five years, we're able to compete with other online companies. Um, and that's really where the, the future battle lines are drawn. So we're doing all sorts of interesting things around technology. I mean, we're an innovative company and that's what we've always been about. 
Um, one of my favorite things at the moment is Tinkoff Stories, just as an example of what we're doing. So in the mobile app, you're obviously able to do all your payments, transfers, take out borrowing products, and uh, buy additional services such as insurance. That's kind of, you know, not revolutionary to put it mildly. Um, but now we're doing a lot more in terms of additional services. So you can book a restaurant table, you can buy travel tickets, airline tickets, rail tickets. Uh, you can find out about um, all sorts of additional services beyond our own ecosystem that we're, uh, that we're offering. But what we're doing is taking a customer's behavioral information, their transactional data, their geo data as they use the mobile app. Um, we're looking, we're building up a behavioral usage, if you like, profile and we understand what they need on an individual basis. Uh, we understand how they interact, how they transact, who they're sending to within the Tinkoff ecosystem, outside the Tinkoff ecosystem. Which means that based on this profile, based on a, a, a machine learning algorithm, we're able to target increasingly relevant um, offers, uh, user tips, uh, PFM uh, information, so we can um, help the customer optimize how they use our apps and services. We can offer them external uh, offers from merchants, for example. We can target um, all sorts of cross-sell, um, relevant cross-sell from Tinkoff uh, across our whole product spectrum. Um, and we're giving all sorts of groovy information like, you know, what's on in uh, the city where you live in terms of exhibitions, uh, what's happening in the Cannes fin fin Film Festival, if we can see that the uh, customer goes to the cinema regularly, etc, etc. This is called Tinkoff Stories, so it's a storyboard integrated into the app based on the information we have on each customer. And this is really where we're going in terms of lifestyle banking, and that's where we're moving next, and it's uh, quite an interesting time. So Tinkoff is a Russian story. We're only in Russia. Um, we have no immediate plans to go abroad. And the reason for that is because we've got so much to do in Russia. You know, it's a very, very rapidly evolving space. And these financial ecosystems in Russia are being built out of banks. Um, so Tinkoff um, is building financial ecosystems. Bear Bank, the largest bank in Russia, state-owned, is building a financial ecosystem. And we're crossing over with the online fun, uh, in ecosystems who are also going to financial verticals. So it's all happening in Russia. Um, and, and it's a brilliant market to be in, so we have no immediate plans to go outside. That said, um, data protection is obviously a huge issue, um, as it is everywhere. I won't say an issue, it's a topic. Um, and Russia has some of the most stringent data protection laws, privacy laws, in the world. So they've actually taken, if you like, the Franco-Germanic model, Europe, uh, European model, not the Anglo-Saxon model, and applied it in Russia um, quite deeply, quite early on. Um, and so the uh, the legislative framework to which we are within which we have to work to obtain data, manage data, protect data, the right to be forgotten, has been in place for a long time. Um, and so, actually, you know, maybe, maybe people don't understand this, but in Russia, it's actually very toothy and uh, very rigorous, rigorously enforced.